everybody, in this video, we're going to play with the blending modes. There's a lot of things we can do, so we will learn some of them. Don't forget that I'm preparing a Premiere Pro course for people who like to learn quickly. An accelerated course for beginners that will help you to get started in this video editing world. And in fact, it is a course that I have created with my followers in mind, because if you follow my course and then check my tutorials on this channel, you will see that they complement each other a lot. The launch will be in a few days, so stay tuned, because when it airs, I have an amazing coupon for my followers. Well, now let's go to Premiere Pro and start playing with the blending modes. We're gonna start with an effect that makes the character look like he's dreaming or like he's thinking. Okay guys, we're gonna play with the blend modes. And the blend modes, if you come here to effect controls, you will see the blend modes under opacity. You see they are here and you have a lot of blend modes. This solve, darken, multiply, a lot as you can see here. We're gonna do three examples and my suggestion after you learn these three examples and you understand how this works, Start to experiment, play with all of them. Just like this, you will learn how to use them. And let me tell you that these blend modes are giving effects that are so easy to do and they are amazing. We're gonna start with this one. We have this girl over here. She's like kind of like sleeping, but then she wakes up and then it's like thinking. But what we want to do is to give this dreamy effect. So the first thing to do, we're gonna duplicate the video and we're gonna work with the top video, okay? We're gonna come to effects and we're gonna look for the gush and blur. This effect over here is gonna make our image blur. Now we have the effect here, we come to effect controls and then if we go a little bit down, you can see that gush and blur, the effect is already here, but it's in zero. So if we put 100, now we can see that our video is completely blur. But this is not what we want. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the blend mode. Remember that to use the blend mode, you need to have two videos because you are blending two videos. And that's why we duplicate this video. You can also do it with different videos. We're gonna see it in the next example. So we're gonna come here and instead of normal, we're gonna use screen. And now you can see it's like a dreamy effect. Actually what the screen mode is doing is making the dark areas transparent so that the light areas will play with the original video. That's why you can see dark areas are staying exactly how they were. Now if we come here and we push the I button so we stop looking at the top video, we can see how our video was. And it was very nice, good exposure, but if we want to give this effect, this is the way. Other thing that you can do if the effect is very strong, maybe you have an image with a lot of highlights so it's gonna be very visible and you want to reduce it, you can come to opacity and instead of 100%, you can put like 80 or 70 or 50. You have to check, every video is different. Even the blurriness in the gush and blur, you can change it instead of 100. I will put 80 as well. And there you go. You have this effect that is really nice. And come on, it was so easy to do. Now let's go to another use that can be given to the blending modes. The effect is called double exposure. It looks like two videos are blend together. Okay guys, I have here this video, this girl is looking at the camera, and then I have the video of Norway, a drone, it's very nice, a lot of colors, and this is what we're looking for. And in the case of this video, the girl has to be very contrasty. When I say contrasty, it's because you can see there's a lot of colors in her, while the background is completely white. When you have something like that, this effect is gonna be very easy to use. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this video up so that we can put the Norway video below. I don't wanna start exactly at the same time as the other video. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go a little bit further and I'm gonna create a cross dissolve here. You will understand a little bit better as soon as we create this effect. So we're gonna come to effect controls and then here in opacity, we're gonna do multiply. There you go. Now if we put play, you're gonna see what is gonna happen. There you go. Do you understand now why I put the cross dissolve? The image is not coming very sudden, it's actually coming very subtle, it's very nice. Now this you can use it also as a transition. If you come here to the girl, for example, and you can over here, and you do exactly the same that we did with Norway video, we put the cross dissolve, and now we have a transition. Look at this. Pretty cool transition, very nice. But what happened if we just come here and instead, remember that we're working with the top video, okay, with the girl. What happened if instead of multiplied, we do screen, exactly the same that we did before. You can see now that it's very different and the blending mode is also pretty cool. Now, what you can do also is in the girl, if you want it like a little bit stronger, like a stronger character, you can come to color, 
we can come to curves and we can actually create an S curve so that we can give a little bit more of contrast. You can see actually that now she's more visible. Let's come back to our workspace. Also remember that you can play with opacity and not just the opacity on the girl, but also the opacity here in Norway. If you reduce the opacity of the Norway video, you can see that it becomes a little bit not that clear, you know, a little bit more transparent so that you can see the girl better. You can also play with keyframes here to make a proper transition. But the point is that we are understanding this effect and it's really, really, really cool. Guys, one last effect. And this effect is very cool for music videos. We are gonna make our character shine like it's surrounded by neon lights. Okay, for this next effect, we have this guy that is dancing there in the sofa. We're gonna duplicate the video. Remember that when we wanna blend something, we need two videos. We're gonna work with the top video like we were doing all the time. And in this case, the effect that we're gonna use in the blend mode is gonna be called difference. It's like below here. Now it's all black, but don't worry. It's all black because the videos are exactly synchronized, exactly in the same position. And we don't want that. This effect needs both videos to be a little bit unsynchronized. So selecting the top video, we press Alt and we move with the arrows to the right. And we can see that we move one frame. Now we can see part of the effect. We're gonna move five frames, okay? Two, three, four, five. Now you can move more frames if you want. And I keep repeating it, you have to experiment with your videos. And now we can see that we got something crazy going on there, <laughs> but it's pretty cool, pretty cool. But we are not done yet. We're going to nest this video. So we put nest and that's it, we have it nested. Now we're gonna put this video up because what we're going to do we're going to put this video, the same one that we started with, we're gonna put it exactly below. Why? Because if we wanna do something with the blend modes, we always need two videos. So what we're gonna do, we come to the blend mode and we're gonna choose the linear dodge at this one over here. Click, and now we can see that our video is starting to be pretty, pretty cool. We can actually spice it up a little bit more and we can come to the effects and we can look for the VR glow effect to give some glow to our video. We're gonna put it on the top video. Then we come to effect controls and we can see that we have the effect here. We are going to go to the Luma threshold. We don't want anything happening there. So instead of 0 0.90 by default, we're gonna put zero. So now we're gonna play with the rest of the parameters. In radius, we can go a little bit higher to change a little bit the radius. Where is this glow going to happen? Now in brightness, we can also go a little bit higher. And then in saturation, we can also go, don't exaggerate, just try to experiment. Maybe saturation, you wanna take out the saturation. In this case, I will add saturation so that you can see exactly what is happening. And now we can see what we got. Pretty cool effect, you can use it like in music videos and I don't know, just experiment, get crazy and use it. People, I hope you like this video. Share it if you know someone who could use it and until next week.